Gary Lineker has come under heavy fire for his criticism of the World Cup being held in Qatar due to the hypocrisy on show, as Swiss captain Jaka gives his comments on the One Love armband. FIFA has opened proceedings against the Mexican Football Association following their draw with Poland. Twitter has set a new world record for tweets on the FIFA World Cup. And finally, here are the results from today's World Cup matches. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. BBC TV presenter Gary Lineker has come under heavy fire after clearly showing hypocrisy through his actions. The presenter gave a dull opening monologue instead of BBC showcasing the FIFA World Cup opening ceremony, all while sitting in Qatar. Lineker has been criticized for talking ill of Qatar hosting the World Cup, all while agreeing to visit the host nation and getting paid for it. One social media user said, the hypocrisy of this guy knows no bounds. Swiss captain Granit Xhaka gave his thoughts on the One Love armband, saying that everyone needs to respect the rules and concentrate on football. He further added, we're here to play football and not hand out lessons to anyone. FIFA has opened disciplinary proceedings against the Mexican Football Association following their nil-nil draw with Poland on Tuesday. Details of what was chanted by Mexican fans have not been revealed, but they were heard being directed against Poland striker Robert Lewandowski. FIFA announced that proceedings were opened on the basis of Article 13 of the FIFA Disciplinary Code. Twitter has set a major record breaking any past FIFA World Cup record on the platform in history. New Twitter owner Elon Musk shared that Twitter Twitter traffic related to the 2022 FIFA World Cup has hit 20,000 tweets per second. This occurred on Wednesday where a shock result took place when Japan defeated 2014 World Cup winners Germany 2-1 at Khalifa International Stadium coming from behind. And finally, in today's early World Cup match, Switzerland outclassed Cameroon 1-0 in Group G's opening match, taking three points home, whilst Uruguay battled it out to a tough 0-0 draw with South Korea. This follows yesterday's matches, where Japan shocked Germany, Spain thumped Costa Rica 7-0, whilst Belgium escaped Canada with a 1-0 win. Coming up later today, Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal face African giants Ghana, and Brazil are set to encounter Serbia at Lusail Stadium. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co